If you've passed through quite a few stations before, you may have noticed a few of them advertising their own sort of Friends of Station Association, including this very station behind me here, Leyland Station, with its own Friends of Leyland Association. These Friends of Associations are run by volunteers, such as Dylan here. Hello. Who basically help keep the stations neat and tidy and give them a sort of unique look. So, shall we uh, go ahead and take a look? Absolutely. Let's do it. So soon here at Leyland we'll be having the platform extensions opening. They're very nearly finished and as you can see we're doing some of the finishing touches on the planters going alongside. Uh, and soon it will allow, when they're open, which will be around June July time, they'll allow for the six carriage free free ones to fit fully on the platforms. Right, we are quickly donning a high-vis jacket to go past some barriers. We've got Graham here, we've got Maureen here, and you, you know Dylan, who's behind you, and I'm Jane. We meet every Tuesday morning, and we're working on the uh, new beds that have been created by the platform extensions. And so it's been hard going, and we never thought that we'd have it done, almost by now. So hopefully by the end of today, we would have sort of finished digging over all these new beds, mulching with a bit of manure and replanting. So th this bed is the last one to finish off and it'll be done today. This is part of the new platforms that we've been developing, digging over and planting up. And we've put quite a few fruit bushes in here and a lovely fruit tree, which would be good for the insects, pollinators, and for us to munch on or passengers to come and help themselves. So. That, that's just about done. It doesn't look anything at the moment, but give it a few months. When it's had lots of sunshine on it, things will start to bloom nicely. So behind me here, we have what we can consider probably the main attraction of the station here, which is the train planter. And Stan here has got quite a story to tell us about it. Uh, Friends of Wales Station built this train planter in 2018 and it's based on a shunter that used to shunt in uh, Leyland Goods Yard uh, and complete with a, a guards van and uh, later on a sand wagon. The, this engine was uh, seen by myself when I worked at Farrington Foundry in uh, uh, 1957 and it brought sand into the foundry and it was probably one of the last trips because shortly after that the new foundry opened and the siding was, uh, was mothballed. But this was a regular shunter from Lostercall Shed and it's a Lancashire and Yorkshire A-Class which uh, number 52456 which was based at Lostercall and uh, lasted there until 1960 and then it was transferred and eventually scrapped. Uh, but these were uh, most useful engines for shunting in yards like Leyland. The yard itself now, of course, is covered in houses. It's gone. So this is a memory of that era and that locomotive and that train. We, we put this, uh, this little planter up here in memory of, uh, of Councillor Albert Hocking because we found the original plaque down on the station wall down there that was put up in 1950, we think. And Albert Hocking's idea was to improve the approach road and Moss Lane by planting uh, the, what they call a plantation of trees. Uh, unfortunately, Albert died in 1948, so Leyland Urban District Council carried on, planted the trees in 1950 and put the plaque up. We found the plaque in a very poor state, which we've cleaned up and refurbished, and that is now on the wall in the Rafa Club. So to replace it, we've put this up, and this says, remembering Albert Hawking JP, Leyland Cancer, who inspired the Station Brow tree plantation circa 1950. Now, what we did when we found the plaque, we put it on our website. 
friends of Leyland Station. And we were contacted by Owen Hocking, who was his granddaughter. And she was living in Newcastle on Tyne. And she says, fantastic. She said, I'm writing a book about him. I'm coming to see you. So she came and saw us and we told her what we wanted to do. She funded this, she will pay for all that. So we got permission for Northern to put a small Acer in and we built the plan to, to replace the original plaque. Then of course, we built Moss Lane uh, Community Garden and we added another planter there in his name and Alwyn brought the whole family from Newcastle down to the great great grandson and we had an opening day with the mayor of South Ribble fantastic day and once a year or twice a year she comes down and has a look at the, the garden to see how it's going and I, we send her films as well. So that's the Albert Hawkins story. And he did a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, a, a slightly fun thing about uh, where I'm standing right now is I am pretty much stood in the old living room, the old station master. Uh, where I'm sat was actually the station master's, almost the station master's house. And his, the last station master was Mr. Rotherham. And I used to go to school with his son in 1955. All the buildings, the booking office, the station master's house, the toilets were removed in the early 1970s by British Railways. And they're just about being replaced now. And uh, well, yeah, funnily enough, as we've been filming today, they've already filled in an entire planter. So that's very nice. So, yeah, friends of Leyland Station, it's great to have finally seen what actually really goes on behind the scenes with these friends of groups. It's interesting to see. So, thank you, Dylan, for inviting me no here. No worries. It's been good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, been, it's been great to have you. I'm also a fellow channel member of Nick's as well. <laughs> Auto Wonder is my YouTube channel name. Not very active at the minute, but I'm busy in life, so. You can also donate to Friends of Leyland Station in the description below. Yeah, I'll be leaving a link for donation in the description if you want to give a little helping hand for around here. So, yeah, thank you for watching, and I suppose I will uh, see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now, and a warm welcome to my new standard premium patron, Thameslink. Thank you very much for supporting the channel.